Starting with a composition drawing of sheep near, distant, mid-distant and far distant as the basis uh, for an invented composition where you decide where to put the sheep. That has been transferred to <coughs> oil sketching paper and you can just about see the drawing through these layers. I've given this a wash of yellow ochre and crimson terracotta mix, very thinly washed out with a large brush diluted with water. And following that, I've been looking at uh, trying to create a soft effect in oils using uh, blurring and sfumato. So blurring out the paint wet into wet. Painted this in um, white and cerulean blue and a little bit of crimson very little yellow ochre. Just brushing that out with a soft brush and then getting wiping the brush each time so that becomes more opaque, less texture, less brush marks I suppose. Very light touch with the brush. Just holding the brush where it balances. And I'm looking for an autumn colour in the tree, which is a mixture of um, crimson ochre and ultramarine, crimson and ochre mostly. And painting a tree onto wet. Just marking the positions. The width of the tree, the widest point of the tree. And the asymmetry of the tree. So this is um, not the same on both sides. Keep picking up the colour. Again, very light touch with the brush. So the tree should be a fuller shape at the edges and in the centre rather and looser at the edges, open and thinner at the top usually as well. And the centre of the core of the tree <coughs> can be quite dense. And the branches fall that way on the left and this way on the right. I'm really trying to pick up on the asymmetry of the tree, the difference one side to another. Bring that down a bit. Hedge, bushes, let's put a little bit of autumn colour in that. Bit of green colour, some green in the tree. The 
some darker grey. Darker grey. soft brush. Very gentle pressure on the brush, just pushing that upwards maybe. Yeah, very light pressure on the brush to blend and merge. Dry off. some gaps in that. So the idea is that this, these trees are in mist, autumn mist. So the autumn colours are there in the distance, but they're blurred or dragged into the um, sort of misty tone in the sky, blue-grey, so that there are no sharp edges left in the description of the trees or the bushes. So I keep having to wipe the brush to keep it from getting too oily. See, every, every time I touch the surface here, there's a chance that the brush is going to pick up um, oil, linseed oil or um, emulsified oil from the water soluble oils. And the aim is to, to make all these edges less defined The orientation of the brush is important. Try and orientate, orientate it in the direction of the branch. Just 
dry the brush again. Very light touch. So the intention there is to lose definition, um, get to retain the shape of the tree as if in a mist. So all the edges are blurred away. And while that's wet, which will be several hours, it's possible to continue blending. But sometimes the best effects in blending are the first ones. Um, and there's a limit to how much this could be blended. So I have several trees along the distant edge of this field uh, with an impression of an untidy hedge. It should be the starting point of this oil painting of sheep in autumn mist. 